Welcome to your second NBA season. Now that your career is progressing and your brand is growing, you will be challenged with managing increasing demands off the court. In between games, you'll have decisions to make on how to spend your off days. Will you refine your skill on the court and work on increasing your attributes in live practices? Do you want to earn fame and extra money by partnering with global brands? Or would you rather establish personal connections with some of the game's most influential personalities which bring with them a variety of rewards? The choice is yours. Welcome to Connections. Here, you're able to form relationships with NBA players, legends, and other personalities to earn a wide variety of rewards. Unique badges, clothing items, VC, my team cards, and even your own terminal Endorsements is where your agent, Dom Pagnotti, will keep you up to date on all your potential partners. As your star power grows, your endorsement opportunities will grow with it. Consider contract offers carefully. While major brands are willing to pay big money for your name, they also demand a large commitment of off days. Time is valuable for an NBA superstar. Welcome to live practice. This is where you can improve your skills on the court by earning attribute upgrades and valuable boosts for your next game. Complete the two scheduled... got to be better at containing the basketball. Let's set up in some one-on-one -on -one full court. You know the drill. Intensity. Intensity!
Okay, guys, we need to pick up the intensity. Boston drill, here we go. Nice work, nice work. Let's get some more shots up before we get out of here.
the 2K Sports pregame show. That's right, it's here, the official start of the new NBA season. I'm Ernie Johnson, excited to be here once again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith for another go-around. And it is Raptor basketball tonight as the Toronto Raptors go up against the Detroit Pistons at their home, the Palace of Auburn Hills. Looking at the Pistons, they've got what only half of the teams in the NBA get to enjoy, and that's opening the season on... A wonderfully symmetrical skyline you have to allow downtown Detroit. We are at the sold-out and noisy Palace of Auburn Hills. This is it, opening day. The regular season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Damari Carroll. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. So for Toronto right now, they've got Corey Joseph. DeRozan out there with Johnson. Then there's Lowry. And it's Brown in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Let's it go from 11. Kane, no luck. Raptors trail by five. Outside Lowry. Kicks it to Brown. No good. And Detroit the other way now. Now here's Freak. From 10 feet out, and he drops that one in. Kane's got his first points in this one. Well, a bit of a tragic note for Freak. He'll be playing this season after the loss of a longtime friend over the summer break. Yeah, that's hard to to hear and certainly going to be difficult for him to work through that. Going to be on his mind all year. Never easy to go on about business as usual when you have that kind of heartache and uh, loss. Now the feed to Jackson. Morris a screen. Shot clock at five. Kane, the best the boozer. That's good. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. Raptors trail by seven. Outside Lowry. The screen from Brown. Dishes to Joseph. Pass to Brown. And off the prior, and in it goes. And here's Freak. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Morris with the screen for Freak. Outside Boozer. The three. The Pistons rebound. And it's blocked by Brown. Lowry with the ball. Outside DeRozan. Shot is off. That's a shot he's got to hit. You know? We sat down with Freak to discuss how he's handling the loss of his close friend. You know, Fick was my brother. Blood couldn't have made us any closer. And, um,. Everything feels like it just happened yesterday. So I'm, um, I'm just trying to take things one day at a time, you know. I'm very grateful for my family, my teammates and coaches for supporting me during this difficult season. Um, I miss Vic, but uh, I'll press on. and prayers go out to Freak Clark and his family. Without question, I mean, it's a really difficult. Different look here for the Pistons. 
Graham's checked in. Marcus Morris comes in for Johnson. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for Jackson. And it's Kane in for Brandon Jennings. A new group in now for the Raptors. Brown, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Patterson comes in for Luis Stoller. Johnson, he's checked in for Tamar DeRozan. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Joseph. Kane, he's in a point guard. He's out there with Jody Meeks. Andre Drummond is out there with Marcus Morris. And it's Graham in a power forward position. That's the group for Detroit right now. Johnson attacking. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Brown sets a screen for Lowry. And stolen by Graham. Now Detroit moving it up. Here's Kane. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Free throw good. Free throw. Shooting 100% in the quarter. They've, um, they've made them all taking full advantage at the line. <laughs> I tell you what, nice job making the most of their opportunities. Raptors trail by 13. Carroll kicks to Lowry. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. Huge hole in the defense that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. Now here's Freak. He's covered closely. The in the corner, Stick it's it Morris. Us. Here's Graham. Rebound by the Raptors. Patterson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Fires for three. And it's Meeks with the rebound. A clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Now here's Freak. Now recovering. Takes the 13-footer. He squares up and sinks it. Kane's got the lead up to 13 now for the Pistons. The Raptors have gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Now Lowry, they set the pick. Here's Brown. Kane grabs the board. But that would have been lucky had it fallen. Poor shot selection. Yeah, look at the coach's face and the expression. It says all over it. Are you kidding me? And easy two points on the way. Kane's got eight points. And the interior D is really starting to be exposed here. How many layups have they gotten today? They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. I'll tell you what, for what's really a, an elementary shot, he looked a little nervous on that release. Shot game clock separated by five. Six on the shot clock. Soft touch off the glass. Kane's got eight points here in this quarter. And the big lead becomes bigger. They are playing with purpose here tonight, guys. And they're doing it at both ends of the floor. I mean, that's what you like to see. They've been controlling the action from both ends of the court. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. Clock runs out. We'll get back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. We're seeing a tremendous game from Brandon Jennings. Morris comes in for Johnson. Jackson, he's checked in for Meeks. And it's Kane in for Brandon Jennings. A new group in now for the Raptors. Luis Scola, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Brown comes in for Patrick Patterson. Johnson, he's checked in for Damari Carroll. And it's Joseph in for Kyle Lowry. Setting the floor for the Raptors. DeRozan and Johnson on the wing. Brown out there with Scola. And it's Joseph in at the point. Raptors trail by 13. Outside DeRozan. 
A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. DeRozan's got 16 points. That's just run of the mill for him. Typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. Drummond, the shot no good. Some solid defense from Brown. We've got 148 left to play in the third. Johnson dishes to Brown. Kicks it out to Johnson. Here's Joseph. Four on the clock. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Pistons leading by 11. Jackson passes to Kane. Back to Jackson. They set the pick. Easy layup after coming off the pick. Jackson's got his first two points of the night. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. It's DeRozan with the drive. The shot is off. Detroit's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the free ball here. There's 53 seconds left in the third. Kane, no luck. Raptors trail by 13. Here's Joseph. Wyatt so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Mark DeRozan on the wing, started by Jackson. DeRozan's shot is good. Detroit's gone 0 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Good! Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And Greg, those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. To the paint, here's Joseph. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. The defense has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. And I'd be interested to know just how many of these attempts have come from inside of five feet. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Johnson. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Raptors have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. The first one falls. Thirty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Kane in at point guard. Boozer is out there with Ilyasova. Then it's Rasul Butler. And it's Graham in at the small forward position. That's the group for Detroit right now. Johnson kicks to Scola. Passes it to DeRozan. Just five to shoot. Shot from 12. It's rebounded by Ilyasova. Now here's Freak. The kick outside to Butler. And so it's the Pistons taking care of business here. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. They certainly right. put on a good All show right here at home, and I think they so felt girl. they had the edge and that extra little bit of confidence. That concludes their first game of... The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin, and now we have the opportunity to... Brandon Jennings. He had just an outstanding fourth quarter performance. He really had the fire lit under him and down the stretch, really having a huge impact on the outcome of this game. Let's get your opinion, Kenny. He was dead on from the field tonight, guys. I'd call his performance economical because there was no wasted opportunities. He took advantage of every good look he got. I mean, everything. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. It was a great win for the team tonight. What can you take out of such a positive overall performance? Well, winning the game like this gives us a lot of momentum going forward. So we just got to take that, keep running with it, and be careful not to let it get to our heads, right? Are you getting the ball as much as you'd like out there? That kind of thing doesn't matter to me. As long as we're winning games, I don't care how much I have the ball in my hands. I really don't. The team comes first. You know that.
You went through a lot last year as you got acclimated to being in the NBA. And then you went through a tough time in the offseason with the death of your childhood friend, Victor. Can you explain your mindset to us as you try to move forward this season? Look, last year went by in a flash, so I ain't even thinking about it no more. It's about what I can do now with this team right here. Vic's gone. And sometimes I still can't believe it. But he's in a better place. And that has nothing to do with my play this season. None. So from now on, let's not bring up my past and let's keep these things in basketball only, all right? I'm ready to take the next step this season, and that's all you need to know. Thank you.